Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Ghost Trick. So, last we left off where we were attempting to figure out how to get back to our friend Lynn, and we need to figure out how to get to the phone in here. However, we also have a new mystery. Let me back out. We're trying to figure out what's up with these two, and can't really get farther in the room unless something happens. Brought the dictionary all the way over here to look something up. Hey, regardless, it sits here all alone. Either she forgot what she wanted to look up, or she forgot she even wanted to look up anything in the first place. Hmm, is here regardless really a word? My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence. To be imprisoned in, my, imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of fast. Oh God. <laughs> oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Hmm. I'd hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. It's a terrible place. So we can't really do, yeah, we can't really do anything here. So our only other option is to turn off the light. What's going on? I made a typo. Oh, is she gonna throw the wad of paper in the trash? Ah, there we go. Open wastebasket. Ah. That gets us to the phone. I kind of wanted to search the rest of the room and I didn't know that was the phone for a second. Hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is my- is that a, is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever with swirly eyes. Let me talk to Emily then at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. What a jerk. Got a new phone number. Lady Red's apartment in Troubled Man's office. Well, now that I finally have the telephone line, now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband, but should I should find my only lead first. That hidden man who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I better hurry. Maybe in just one moment. Let me see if I can check out the rest of this room first. Well, actually, I might be stuck. Okay, yeah, it looks like I won't be able to actually check anything unless... Can I reset if it's all the way to the right? No, I can't. Okay, I guess we're stuck here. So, let's see. You want to go to the junkyard, right? I suppose, yeah. And hopefully the guy's coming here and he hasn't actually already arrived or anything, because we did take a good bit of a while to do this. Not much since has passed since I last was here, but the situation has changed. There's people here. Forensics experts, maybe? Looks like they're examining my ex- my body. I wonder who they are. It's a bouncy lamp. And beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. 
Alright, what are we gonna do? Welcome back, you weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So, you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. You didn't- you knew that? Okay, what a jerk. Oh yeah, that was the last we heard of her, wasn't it? And <laughs> stupid girl had to go throw the phone in the- yeah. Sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that a hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know, I'm just a desk lamp. <laughs> what a great retort. Hmm, I, I better see what I can find out. Well, obviously it looks like they're trying to copy some kind of uh, defense attorney looking guy. Quite a thing, huh, this case? Yeah, one of our own, a murderer. Heads will roll over this. One of our own, a murderer. Does that mean maybe she was a police officer? And she's a rookie too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't giving crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Inve Investigation Unit. Hmm. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Okay. Doesn't seem like we can do anything with any of these items so far. Well, there's us again. Anything interesting going on with us? I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Probably. Bullets do cause death. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest of after my lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella is our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape, or there'll be heck to pay. Hmm, I don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Kevanella wants to come for either. It's probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. I'm so cool, look at me, I have my own way to- oh, what? Oh god. <laughs> do you have to do this every time you stop anywhere? Ah, oh, the tension of a crime scene. <laughs> yeah, nothing like it, baby. Is he trying to do an Elvis impersonation? Oh god. <laughs> this is funny. I love it. I kind of see what they mean now. Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. What kind of cordless phone do we have outside? So this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit? He seems, uh... Unique. Okay. So maybe we need to investigate his phone call. Maybe in just a moment. Let's talk to the lamp, see if the lamp's got anything cool to say. Never mind, lamp cannot be spoken to. Too far away. Alright, who are we on the line with? Deal with, deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? Well, I, I've got weird eyes. You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough. About fair to average, if I had to say. 
Yes, it's going all right. Newt, the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Well, it's got <laughs> that, that accent. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes. Can you get out of the way, loser? Uh, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Started blathering about being the guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. Sorry about that. We'll start doing your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Okay, that was really important, I'm sure. But that might actually get us somewhere to go. Park. <laughs> now then, sir, if I may make my report, sir. Doc, you, oh, Doc. Talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir? I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent office right now. Super office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. <laughs> Carry on, boys. <laughs> Good luck, sir. Let out a small sigh of relief. Alright, what do they got to say? Oh, that Inspector Cabanella, he sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again. And I've never seen anyone use stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion that same airy way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? Well, can't really get to the office that easy, can we? Oh, oh, the lamp moved. Thank you. Well, no, we know the lamp is always there. I just can't quite reach it from here, so... I guess do we have to investigate the park? It sounds like the only real lead we've got at the moment. I mean, not lead, but the only place we haven't been anyway. appears to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The voices of the two young people drift out to me on the breeze. What's up with your hair? Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park, the rock of the gods! Oh, I see now. Uh, sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now, I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think of me as a man of dubious character. A questionable person. No, I, uh... But if an objective person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, alright. But just for a moment. There, I like your attitude, I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young and so are we. Oh man. He sounds like he's having a bad time. Anything they gotta say first? No, he's shoving paper at his... <laughs> hey, what do we got here? Leaflet? That doesn't really get us much of anywhere. In fact... Is there anywhere we can trick to? Or ghost to or whatever? Really, no. I guess we're kind of stuck here, aren't we? Not that there's a whole lot going on, he's just kind of shoving paper to space. Okay. 
so we got the troubled man's office. Anything important going on there? I feel like we're wasting time, but we can't exactly get to Lynn right now, which is our current goal. Are you alright, sir? I ordered all of you not to come to me. I beg your pardon, sir. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Another strange room and another strange person. I wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. Alright, what do we got in here? We got more stuff we can do at least. We can flap the flag. In fact, that is the only thing we can do. That's all we can do is flap the flag. Alright, let's do so. Oh, I missed my chance, I think. Need to flap it with more intensity. Like, can we can we flap this more? Like, that's going nowhere near coming close enough to getting me up there. Even if it flapped a little bit, it's just not quite enough. Hmm. Well, where else can we go? We've got Lady Red's apartment. We got Lynn's apartment. We've got this parlor, and we got the junkyard. I guess we could go through all of them one by one. There was that little area I couldn't go in Lady Red's apartment here. Has anything happened since I left? Still typing away passionately, I see. She typed her fingers to the bone to complete her tale of love, I imagine. The little girl with the fever seems to be sleeping now. I hope she's having sweet dreams. Oh. Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, I guess not. So, yeah, we can't go anywhere, can we? Like, we can see what's going on, but we can't go anywhere. So this phone isn't going to lead us anywhere. Well, let's go next door to Lynn's apartment. Did anyone ever go over here? Line doesn't seem to be where... Oh, yeah, I just can't go there. That makes sense. Uh, anything else happening in the parlor? Line doesn't seem to be working. Okay, I guess he put the phone away. Then our only lead has to be in the junkyard. Because all the other leads, I can't go anywhere. I mean, I, I didn't think I'd go anywhere in the junkyard either, to be fair, but... Let's look around a little bit more. He's saying something, but I can't hear him from here. Yeah. He actually, I think he has a new dialogue, so maybe we should see if he has anything to say. Maybe I'm, I missed that was the thing that we needed to do. Who put that there? I don't remember that bag being there. Okay, I think this was the right thing to do. I think we can safely assume this was the murder weapon. That, that gun? Probably, since he got shot. Oh no, that pistol! Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think... It's Lynn's, do you? This isn't good. If it's hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? We could ghost into the gun. Accidentally fire a weapon. So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen them for sh before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part right here is... Yep. <laughs> Fool! If you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction! I, I didn't fire it! I'm the victim here! This is the act of someone who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, I guess that proves it's a real gun. Bang. What was that? You guys just had a gun fired your own. So, uh, is that what I think it is? The sound of a gun.
I got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ring of the phone or the crime case? Uh, if you say so. Trick time! Firing this gun is one thing, but killing a poor detective in the process is another. That's alright, if you just kill one, you can save him. I don't think I need to increase my workload right now. Better not fire it. Okay, so can't really go anywhere farther that way. Let's check the phone. Ah, uh, there you are. Are you in the superintendent's office? Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you? The green one or the blue one? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, I'm... I, I'm the green one. Sir. Listen, Greeny. Get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see it that you'll never wear a green suit again. Or maybe that was a bit much. Yes, sir. I'll send him right up, sir. And maybe, maybe that voice was a bit much. Yep, super's office. Hey, uh, Doc, you go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> if I must. He's gonna walk with my stethoscope in front of me. And what do you guys have to say before I leave? What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Okay. Let's get to the super's office. Yet another gunshot rings out from the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting at the other end of the line. Apparently I'm not only one of the reapers. I'm not the only one the reapers interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anyone else die. Sure, let's save real quick. And I think it's a little bit early, but I am a bit short on time today. So we're going to stop here, and we will continue from here next time. It's actually a lot easier to continue from the saves the game lets you make rather than my saves, because it kind of backs you up to the beginning of whatever you were doing. Which is a little bit annoying. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Ghost Trick. Bye!